Hey everyone, my name is Cameron Rowland. I am a master's student at University of Concordia, Irvine, and today I'm gonna to do a presentation of a quality of character point, and my main focus is gonna be on hard work. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna go into the introduction of what is hard work. So hard work is a great deal of effort or endurance. Now this could be used in anything, whether it be in sports, in life, uh, in the workforce, you, you know, you name it. It could be used any at any time, anywhere. Um, and I, I personally think that it defines who someone is as well. Um, it can define someone with how they do things on a daily basis. It can be how someone works hard each and every day in the classroom or out of the classroom if you're a student athlete. And it, it really, you know, goes a long way um, in life. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is student athlete hard work. And I think this is the most important, especially growing up as a kid um, and, and in sport. So, you know, being a student athlete is very difficult, whether you're in high school or in college. And if you have an opportunity to make it to the professional level, um, you know, it's even harder. But I think for teenagers and kids in high school or college, I think it's really hard because you got to be able to balance school. Um, and you got to be able to have a lot of discipline um, with including the hard work. So this can include, you know, hard work, um, you know, in the college aspect or in high school aspect, you know, it can include study time. It could include homework, uh, team weightlifting, team bonding, you know, class time each and every day, making sure you're getting, you know, good grades and whatnot, um, being able to, you um, have a social life and be able to balance that. And, you know, obviously having a really good nutrition um, for when you're playing a sport. Um, I think this is huge. And I think balancing the daily life is, is by far the most important. And the only way to do that is by working hard each and every day. Um, I think it's definitely a grind. And I think you be, being able as an athlete and being able to do this on a daily, a daily basis is, is crucial. Um, so the first one I want to talk about that I think, you know, really defines hard work, um, not only from when he was a young kid, but to his professional um, athleticism um, talents as now is, is Bryce Harper. Um, Bryce Harper is a MLB baseball player who is an outfielder. He was one of the youngest players to ever reach the major leagues. And his ability to have hard work on the field, off the field is unbelievable. Um, I think the biggest thing with him is he created his separation by his preparation and hard work. Um, you know, he graduated early from high school. He took his GED. He left after his junior year to go to junior college. He, he did really, really well in the classroom and on the field. And he had an opportunity to be the top draft pick um, a few years ago in, in, in the Major League Baseball draft. Um, you know, this is a guy that's been going through adversity throughout his career and, you know, how he reacts and how he responds is very impressive. Um, being, an, being an athlete and being a professional athlete, you know, requires having discipline and you're going to go through adversity, um, especially with getting paid and, and, and having that opportunity to, to be as best you can be or you're not going to play. You know, it, it really takes a lot out of out of someone. And I think for him especially going into the major leagues before he was 19 years old, I think it's huge that he's able to overcome the adversity and his hard work throughout his, his younger career um, is unbelievable. And I think for sure he's a key example of what hard work is. And um, I think this is what happens when you set your standards high and your goals high. So hard work for a coach, moving into you know a coaching aspect of hard work. I think that it's the most important important because it sets a standard high to you and the athlete. I think when you're coaching, I think, you know, it, it's very important to have um, a coach, you know, be able to go through hard work because all the kids are going to be able to follow you. And it shows the athlete what we as coaches and the athletic administration do to create a competitive and successful environment for the players. And I think it's just a big overall um, key to be able to have success. Um, so again, one, one example could be baseball coaching. Um, for me, I'm, I'm a baseball coach. I graduated a few years ago out of the University of Nevada, Reno, and now I got into coaching after I was playing. So this can include, you know, field setup, preparing scouting reports, preparing practice plans, preparing, you know, different meals if we wanted to have meals for the kids um, and getting the team ready overall for competition. I think being able to work hard each and every day and having that daily grind of trying to be, you know, 1% better and get as best as you can be, I think it's really going to help the overall team and, and help the overall advantage of, to, to become successful. And also, I think the small things can go a long way whether it be, you know, working hard to help this athlete, you know, get a little bit better grades or helping this athlete get into a four-year program. I think it's going to be, you know, I think
think the hard work aspect of it is very successful and it, it's very powerful. Um, the next guy I'm going to bring up, an example of coaching, is a guy named Pat Casey. He's been the Oregon State head baseball coach for a few years now. Um, I think he's one of the hardest workers, and he, you know, he portrays himself as a very hard worker. Um, he actually, they actually just won the College World Series a few days ago, um, and he was the College Baseball Coach of the Year in 2017. So this doesn't just come you know, to anyone. It, it, it really comes by him preparing each and every day, surrounding himself with great people and a great coaching staff that can go a long way. And I think him demanding you know, hard work and positivity um, creates the overall success. So that's an example of a coach or an, uh, you know, an admin in athletics that could really help you know, change a program or change players to get them to the next level or to get them you know, prepared for life. Uh, one, one important uh, quote from the text is great teams display excellent work habits. Teams tend to be successful when the athlete prepares hard every day and then, and, and then attribute their success to preparation. So with this, I think, you know, this shows with hard work and a positive mindset by the whole team, anything is possible. And I think athletes want to be crowded, a crowned a champion and they need to have the mindset to get to, and then the passion to get the job done. Um, so this was a really good quote that stuck with me. Um, another couple of important quotes for me as a coach, I really like, you know, putting up different quotes, laminating them, putting them up on the dugout or on a field or on a court, whatever the case may be, locker rooms. I think this is important to put up different quotes, um, you know, that athletes can go by each and every day and walk through and see these so they're in the back of their mind, you know, when things are going, uh, going hard. But a couple of them are, one is stop doubting yourself, work hard and make it happen. And the next one, which is very powerful, which I think is the most important, is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Um, you know, you could be the most talented player in the world, but if you don't work hard, nothing's going to go your way or things aren't going to go your way all the time. Whereas if guys work hard, they put in the preparation and they get 1% better each and every day, they're going to be the ones that succeed because they put in all that time and, and, and they prepare well. Um, I think these quotes, again, from athletes and from heroes are huge to prepare, to, pre to prepare in classroom, dugouts, and fields. And I think it gives the athlete uh, an idea of what is right and how they can achieve greatness. Um, a couple quotes from the Bible, Colossians 3.23. I like, talk, I like this one, how it talked about whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not the human masters. I think this goes a long way as well, and it ties into to hard work and coaching with, you know, whatever you do, you got to work hard with everything you do. Um, and you got to do it with all your heart. You got to be buy. You got to buy into what you're doing, and you got to be 100% committed to what you're doing. Um, so just for a conclusion, um, hard work is created. You know, I think by the day in and day out grind, those who work hard and trust the process will be successful not only in sports but in life. And I think this is very powerful. I think this is a great quality of character to talk about. And I appreciate you everyone's time and uh, have a good day.